Stephen Snyder, Leadership and the Art of Struggle, How Great Leaders Grow Through Challenge and Adversity. In Leadership and the Art of Struggle, Stephen Snyder delves into the complexities surrounding leadership and its relationship with struggle and adversity. By shedding light on the intricate interplay between leaders and followers, the book emphasizes the importance of understanding and respecting the various perspectives and factors that influence leadership. In this summary, you will explore key concepts such as the difference between leadership and management, the vital role of followership, the effects of power and influence on leadership, as well as the critical balance between rational and emotional factors in effective leadership. Snyder's work serves as a window into the makings of a brilliant leader and presents a compelling argument for embracing challenges as opportunities for growth. The Nuances of Leadership Leadership is a multifaceted concept that involves a complex relationship between the leader, followers, and situation. There is no single definition of leadership, and it cannot be separated from followership. While being an expert on leadership is not necessary to be a good leader, understanding leadership research can be beneficial. Emotional intelligence is a crucial aspect of leadership, as emotions can inspire or be used negatively. A leader must strike a delicate balance between rational and emotional factors. A good leader should be confident yet humble and recognize when a new direction is needed. Finally, leadership relies on followership, and the qualities admired in leaders and followers are similar, with the exception that leaders prefer their followers to be somewhat dependent. The truth about leadership. Leadership is a topic that has been highly romanticized and often misunderstood. In the book, Leaders, Richard Nixon debunks myths surrounding leadership, such as the idea that leaders are born and not made. Effective leadership involves the ability to influence people towards group goals, but there are numerous viable leadership styles. Research has shown that leaders differ from their followers in various ways, including personality traits, cognitive abilities, skills, and values. The level of loyalty a leader receives from their followers often depends on how they achieve their leadership status, with those who are elected or emerge naturally showing the most loyalty. Followers' expectations, traits, and motivations also impact the leadership process. Finally, it is important to distinguish between leadership and management, although both functions can complement each other in the same individual. The key to effective leadership lies in balancing both the rational and emotional sides of human experience. Walt Disney's Effective Leadership Walt Disney's success as a leader was attributed to his commitment to quality, willingness to take risks, and ability to recognize talent. He possessed a long-range vision, impeccable timing, and was guided by his intuition and sixth sense of what would resonate with people of all ages. However, he lacked interpersonal skills and was not a people person. His complementary partnership with his brother, who managed the financial aspects of the business, made their company prosperous. After Walt's death, the company lacked a creative and visionary leader, resulting in a period of uninspired productions under Roy's solitary management. The book highlights that leadership is not limited to a person's position but involves followers as part of the process. Walt Disney's closely supervised approach and his emphasis on quality standards were integral to the success of his brand. The Power Play of Leadership The book excerpt highlights that leaders can influence their followers' attitudes and behaviors, but power is not an inherent quality of leadership. Transformational and charismatic leadership are future-oriented, and both coercive and reward power can be used positively or negatively. The importance of vision extends to everyday business situations too. The author illustrates how bureaucracy can pose limits on power, as illustrated by Jimmy Carter's struggle to remove a dead mouse from White House property. The passage emphasizes that being a boss can catalyze growth, and exceptional bosses lead by example. Leading with Purpose this book explores the idea that true leaders act with purpose, ethics, and values in every aspect of their job. Leadership is about acting with purpose, ethics, and values in every aspect of the job. True leaders do what is right, not just what is easy or quick. 
they set the moral and ethical example for their followers. This book explores the concept of leadership and the crucial role that ethics and values play in it. Leaders face ethical dilemmas daily, and the best ones do not shy away from doing the right thing, even when it is challenging. However, many actions are legal but still unethical, such as scapegoating, shirking responsibilities, knowingly making unreasonable demands, breaking promises, and giving good assignments to friends rather than qualified individuals. Moreover, leaders' attitudes differ from followers' perceptions of themselves and how others perceive them. Stereotyping based on gender, race, religion, age, and culture creates significant obstacles for women, minorities, and the young and the old. Aspects of leadership, such as problem-solving, team-building, and delegating, are highly influenced by leaders' ethics and values, which determine if a leader's character matters. Finally, studies show that both leaders and followers are motivated by five basic needs, physical survival, security, affiliation, self-esteem, and self-actualization. A leader who understands these needs can fulfill them effectively, while a follower committed to a leader shares these same needs. A leader's purpose is to lead with ethics and values in every aspect of their job, from the decisions they make to how they treat their followers. This book provides insights on how to become a true leader, one that creates a positive impact on those they lead. The Traits of a Great Leader True leadership is not only about knowledge but also about behavior during difficult times. Developing leadership skills through practice is crucial, and only those willing to change and grow will become better leaders. Although the business world is constantly evolving, the essential qualities of an exceptional leader have not changed. Steven Snyder's Leadership and the Art of Struggle takes you on a journey through the multifaceted nature of leadership, showcasing its rational and emotional aspects, while highlighting the significance of overcoming adversity and staying true to one's ethics and values. As the book summary elaborates, leaders must recognize the role of followership, continually hone their skills, and adapt to ever-evolving situations, in order to inspire and secure loyalty. By debuting myths surrounding leadership development and showcasing illustrious examples, Snyder reminds readers that great leaders are not born, but rather, forged through dedication, learning, and resilience in the face of challenges. In essence, this book serves as a guide for embracing leadership struggles and harnessing them to become a more effective, empathetic and successful leader.